for Mia, and it's Sunday night, and it's way past my bedtime. <laughs> but as you all know, my mind is probably running around 100 miles per hour, at least. Um, since I made the video and, you know, said that the diagnosis of lupus was back out on the table, um, you know, I've had a lot of other stuff come up and a lot of time to think and there's a lot of things that I didn't get said so now I'm gonna do it <laughs> it's about midnight um, first off while my blood work came back and my rheumatologist said that it is systemic lupus um, it's not cutaneous it is systemic and so we'll be um, doing treatment for that versus for cutaneous lupus. And the treatment for systemic lupus after the transplant is six rounds of chemotherapy, um, which will be cytoxin. Now, I'm a little bit confused of, because I've heard both ways, I believe, but I don't know, I'll find out for sure this week. Um, whether it's six rounds once a week for six weeks or six rounds once a month for six months. And both, to me, has pros and cons. Um, if I do the six weeks, you know, I won't have time to recuperate from one infusion until the next. Um, so, you know, I'll be pretty sick for six weeks. But it'll all be done and over with and even before my birthday um, the six month one you know you've got time you'll have your infusion you'll finally start to feel better and then it'll be time to get another um, but it won't be done until Christmas time so I'll find out which one it's gonna be um, so, with that said, <laughs> I have to get the port, and um, I go do that this Wednesday. Um, I check in at the hospital at 9 a.m. Um, my oncologist nurse said, "Give you know, it'll give it pretty much four hours. Um, you know, by the time I check in to the time I check out." of the hospital to go home. <laughs> not check out, check out. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but to come home. Um, let's see. So, you know, I wasn't big or excited about getting the port because that's what caused me to go septic. And just, you know, the thoughts of that really scared me. But now I'm in a better place and more comfortable, more at peace with it. Um, my oncologist here, you know, he said with me receiving the IVIG that um, severe infection really is not to even be considered. You know, it, you know, it's it's hot, you know I'm being protected with the IVIG. So Wednesday, 9 a.m. hospital port. It was on my right side this time, they'll put it on my left side. Hopefully this time they'll put it in a better place. <laughs> because like, on this one, my seat belt always hit it. And my bra always hit it. And so it was just like, constantly aware of it. So I'm hoping they find some place over there that won't be so irritating. Um, the next thing is I get my teeth cleaned early Monday morning, which will be the first time in forever, a year and a half at least. And I'm used to getting my teeth cleaned every six months. But with my immune system being so low, my dentist would not even do it with me being on antibiotic because of once they start messing with the bacteria, the flora, the bacterial flora in the mouth, it goes rampant all throughout the body. Um, but this time we're doing it, and um, I'm still going to tell them to take it easy on me because it's been a while. 
but I'd get that done and I hope my teeth are in really good shape because I got back um, the results from my bone density scan and it wasn't good. My last scan I had good strong solid bones nothing wrong with them. This time I went I skipped osteopenia went straight into osteoporosis um, my the per she said it went down 26 percent in my spine in my right hip and in my left hip went down 24 percent and she said that's not good so she gave me the choice between Fosamax, Bonevo Fosamax she takes once a week, Bonevo once a month she said she wanted to save the shots and the infusions for further down the line if we needed those as a backup so I chose Boniva since it was once a month and of course the insurance company denied it so my doctor went back and did her magic and they, impro they approved it indefinitely and it's just things like that that I'm sure you guys understand things like that hit hard it means like indefinitely it means like you know it's really there you know it's it's just not a possibility it's just not you know it's it's serious it's serious and it really has to be taken care of so I don't want to I don't want to be the little stooped over lady even though I am kinda now <laughs> But it's from being from bedridden and not being able to walk. And I'm working so hard on my posture. But I don't want to be like that. And the good thing is, you know, these drugs help you increase your bone mass. So I'm going to do that and start really working with my bands. You know, weightlifting helps your bones also. So I really got to get that. And, I, and it says, like, I do know that now my physical therapy is going to change. So I really do need physical therapy again to teach me how to exercise and not fracture a bone. So, you know, I need to do that amongst, you know, chemotherapy and IVIG and, you know, everything else. <laughs> and, um... But it'll all get done. Um, Monday, I also I go to my GI doctor about my liver. And that's a great concern because my enzymes have gone up. So my, the liver panel has gone up and it's continued to go up and up and up and up. And, you know, even they'll take away medications thinking, well, this could be causing it and this and that and it it keeps on going up this last month it did go down and the only thing that changed was my diet so I'm believing that it's fatty liver and you know the prednisone and being overweight from the prednisone um, isn't helping it any <laughs> and um, 10 years ago I did have a liver biopsy which is not any fun because you're kind of semi awake and they use this huge hunk of needle and they go through your rib cage in between ribs to get they stick that through there to get to your liver and it's a core biopsy so they push when they push on the syringe it, it sucks you know some of the liver out it looks like a little worm that uh, hope that's not too much information but that's what it is and <laughs> it's no fun then you have to lay still for so many hours afterwards because they have to make sure that your blood is clotting in your liver so you don't hemorrhage and I had a slight hemorrhage and it was very painful I would not want to have a major hemorrhage at all so I go to my doc, GI on Monday well, I have to have his um, okay 
to go ahead and go on with the chemotherapy because we need to know for sure that my liver can handle the chemotherapy and that my body can take it. And so everything is kind of set in place just waiting for the okay from the GI doctor. And I think it'll be okay since they're going down. And um, the way I ate this last week, they probably went up. <laughs> As you know from, um, probably from my Facebook and some Twitter, Dwayne and I were out of town. He had to go to work in Gulfport, Mississippi. And so whenever he travels, I kind of go along for the ride. You know, I stay in the hotel all day, which is just the same as staying in the house all day. And um, then in the evenings, you know, we go out and, you know, eat. Or uh, one night we went to the mall. Um, but my, uh, I have a close friend. And it's funny how I met her. A friend of ours from church, he grew up in New York. And he knows Sarah from growing up in New York. And he knew that she had lupus. So he connected us through Facebook. And for the past three years, Sarah and I have been very close. And she just recently moved down south, and she was close to Gulfport. And so she come and spent two nights, three days with us. And um, it was good. I mean, unfortunately, you know, she has lupus. So we were both kind of like, I need a rest. <laughs> you know, we weren't on any crazy, like, let's run and do this and do that and all that kind of stuff. Um, we ate good, had a lot of laughter, took our needed rests when we needed to rest, and we just had a fun time. And it was so wonderful to meet her. I also, I made a video, an interview of Sarah and her lupus story which I'll be uploading in the next few days and that's something that I want to do try to do on a monthly basis figure it out somehow because I know I won't be face to face with everybody but you know interview people and let their stories be told because everybody's is different as we know and we can learn and that's what I'm here for is to spread lupus awareness. Well, I'm sleepy. I guess I got everything said that I wanted to say. This is Buddy's new toy. <laughs> His name's Coconut, and he come from Mississippi. And Buddy really, really likes him. So he says hello, <laughs> and we're gonna go to bed. So be praying for us thinking about us this week and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video